What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top.
What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. But keep close to the wall. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. There's lots of loose ice up here. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Look out! Oh shit! That was close! Ah! <laughs> 
It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. The gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you! You fool! Shit! They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No, no, no!
No turning back. It has to be here. <sighs> in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. shown here, performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. It's the Prophet, speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. He led his followers through the desert, to the oasis. Tomb. I've got to find it before them. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden. I'll mark down the locations. Dad could have seen this. 